because the core notion of the immersive environments like uh, illusion and immersion indeed are in clearly woven throughout our collective past uh, in Roman frescoes, for example, or in uh, cave, um, cave paintings, prehistoric cave paintings. There is evidence of it in Renaissance times. Think, think for example, of the central perspective. When we create these new worlds, we create indeed, um, we create new worlds and we, we are inhabiting new worlds and we are creating new frontiers of being, of the self. And uh, this is exactly where I actually see the potential of immersive environments. And, um, and without replicating what's already been seen and heard and touched, in, in other words, what's already present, you know, are the reality that we live every day. Um, as much as the benefits, let's say, of the metaverse are glorified, there needs to be space for a critique and importance of historical perspective. Um, there is, uh, you know, the idea that we create these new worlds and we live outside the door, uh, who we really are, and we create a new version of ourselves is, um, is simply naive, and scholars have been calling out on these utopian dreams. Um, we bring in our words uh, directly or indirectly, uh, purposely or not, uh, um, you know, our identity and part of who we are. And when we think about identity, we also think about um, race and gender. 